this is the story of Mary and of her husband, Joseph. They live in the days of King Herod in a city of Galilee called Nazareth. One day, God sent the angel Gabriel down to Nazareth, and the angel appeared before Mary. My name is Gabriel, the angel said, and my place is in God's presence. I have been sent to speak to you and to bring you good news. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Mary was much troubled at hearing the angel speak so. But the angel said, Mary, do not be afraid. You found favor with God. You will have a son and will call him Jesus. He shall be great and men will know him for the son of the most high. His kingdom shall never have an end. And Mary said to the angel, let it be according to your word. And with that, the angel left her. It happened that in the days that followed, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus, ordering all of the people to be registered and taxed. All had to go and give their names, each in his own city. And so Joseph, being of the family of David, went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city in Judea, a place called Bethlehem, to give his name there. Joseph asked for a room, but the innkeeper said there was no room for them at the inn. No room. Nearby, there were shepherds in the fields, keeping a night watch over their flocks. The glory of the Lord shone about them. This day, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you, the Lord Christ himself. This is a sign by which you will know him. You will find the child 
lying in a manger. wise men came, and the star went before them. And when the star stood still over where the child was, they went in. his mother Mary, and they knelt down to worship him. And then they opened their treasures and presented unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and mirth. God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Mm -hmm. 